Hello, this is Jessica from Feather and Key, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own labels. Um, I have a new project that I'm working on, and it's going to require labels. And I thought this would be just a great time to share how easy it is to make these, because it's really simple. And whether you have your own business, or you're just wanting to make a personalized gift for someone, this is a really easy way to go about doing that. You're going to need a computer, a bubble jet printer, fabric transfers, an iron, fabric, and um, a hard surface. You can't use an ironing board for this. So here we go. Okay, so I have my Legos printed out on the transfer paper, as you can see, and it's really important to remember to reverse your text. I kind of had to learn the hard way when I first started doing this. Um, I have ironed my fabric so it's nice and smooth and I also have a protective piece of fabric that's underneath this to protect the floor and prevent scorching. Um, so now I'm going to just cut out all of the logos and place them on the fabric. Okay, so I have all of my labels cut out and placed on the fabric. When you're doing this you want to make sure that you leave enough space um, you know, for seam allowances if you're sewing it on and just kind of give each label a little bit of room. And once you get everything placed out, you're going to put your iron down and you're going to want to apply firm pressure for at least 30 seconds. So you're just going to continue this over the rest of your labels until they've all had the heat put on them. Okay, so I have finished going over all of the labels and we are ready to start peeling off the backing. Um, you're going to go over these at least 30 seconds, but it may be closer to like a minute, even a minute and a half. The important thing is just to remember that when you go to peel the backing off, if the transfer hasn't adhered to the fabric, you're just going to go over it again with your iron until it actually does adhere. And so, um, you know, each fabric's different. Just be patient and um, eventually it will turn out perfect and so there you go homemade do-it-yourself labels so check back and see what i am making these little guys for and y'all have a great day thank you bye